Today we are looking at stationary points, also known as turning points of a curve. And the question reads, determine the turning points of the curve y is equal to 4x cubed minus 12x plus 1. And hence, state whether the turning point is a maximum or a minimum point. So the first thing is that at the turning point, the gradient of a curve is usually zero. So dy over dx is equal to zero. So this means that if we differentiate the function y with respect to x, this function here, we are going to get 12x squared minus 12 and that should be 0 so that from this equation 12x squared minus 12 is 0 x should be plus or minus 1 so we take negative 12 to the right hand side and divide all through by 12 and then find the value of x so this also implies from here x is equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 1. Therefore, using the values of x, we can determine the turning points. And the turning points are as follows. At x is equal to 1, y will be so we take the value of x and substitute it in the equation of y. So we are going to have negative 7, which implies that the turning point is 1 comma negative 7. So the x and y coordinates. Also, at x is equal to negative 1 y will be, so we substitute negative 1 in the equation right up here, so we're going to have 9. So this implies that the turning point is negative 1, comma 9. So with these turning points, the next thing is to determine the nature. So after getting the turning points, we determine the nature, nature of the turning points. So here we need to recall that at the turning points, the second derivative is greater than zero if the turning point is a minimum and if the second derivative is less than zero that is if it is negative then the turning point is a maximum point and also we also need to note that if the second derivative is zero, then the turning point should be a point of inflection. So with the points that we had at x is equal to 1 for 1 comma negative 7 so we are interested in the x coordinate because we are going to substitute it in the second derivative this is what we are going to have so we need to get the second derivative that means we differentiate y the second time so the first time we differentiated y and we realize it was 12x squared minus 12. 
So if we differentiate a second time, we are going to get 24x. So that is what we have here. So the second derivative should be 24x. So the next thing we are going to do is just to substitute the values of x. So for this point, we have the second derivative being equivalent to 24, substitute for the value of x, so that is into 1, and that is positive 24. Positive 24 is greater than 0, so it's a positive value. Hence, we can confirm that point 0.1 comma negative 7 is a minimum point. Sorry. Similarly, we can also have the other point when x is negative 1, that is for the turning point which we are given by negative 1, comma 9. Here, the second derivative will be 24 and we substitute for the value of x the value of x is negative 1 so we're using this equation here and this should be negative 24 negative 24 is less than 0 that is it's a negative number so the point negative 1 9 is a maximum point So finally, we have determined the nature of the turning points. So for point 1, negative 7, we realized it's a minimum point, And for negative 1, 9, it's a maximum point. So that is it for this question. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.